The question of whether Palestinians are indigenous to the land now known as Israel and the Palestinian territories is a highly contested issue involving historical, political, and cultural dimensions. The term indigenous typically refers to groups that are native to a particular region and have distinct cultural practices, languages, and historical ties to the land. Palestinians trace their ancestry back to the people who lived in the region for millennia. This includes the ancient Canaanites, Philistines, and various other Semitic groups. They have maintained a continuous presence in the region. They have a rich cultural heritage linked to the land, including the language, Arabic, customs, and religious sites significant to Islam, Christianity, and Judaism. And various international bodies, including some human rights organizations and the United Nations, have recognized the historical and cultural claims of Palestinians to the land, often referring to them as indigenous or having indigenous rights. On the other hand, some argue that the historical and religious connection of Jewish people to the land, dating back to ancient Israel and Judea, also constitutes an indigenous claim. The modern state of Israel was established as a homeland for the Jewish people after centuries of diaspora. The term indigenous is sometimes used in the context of colonialism, where a colonizing power displaces native populations. In this context, some argue that the establishment of the state of Israel and subsequent displacement of Palestinians does not exactly fit the classic model of colonialism. The designation of indigenous status can carry significant political implications, influencing narratives and policies related to land rights, self-determination, and international support. This makes the term extremely contentious in the context of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The question of whether Jewish people preceded Palestinians in the region now known as Israel and the Palestinian territories involves a consideration of ancient history and the complex lineage of peoples who have lived there over millennia. The historical record shows that the Jewish people have ancient roots in the region. According to archaeological evidence and historical texts, the kingdoms of Israel and Judea existed in the area from approximately the 10th century BCE. Jewish historical texts like the Hebrew Bible describe the presence of Jewish ancestors like Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Moses, and events like the Exodus and the establishment of the first and second temples in Jerusalem. The Jewish people were largely dispersed from the region after the Roman destruction of the second temple in 70 CE, although some Jewish communities remained. Before and alongside the ancient Jewish presence, however, there were other groups living in the region, Canaanites, Philistines, and other Semitic peoples. These groups had distinct cultures and societies apart from the Jews. The term Palestinian as a distinct national identity is much more modern, emerging only in the 20th century. But the ancestors of today's Palestinians, including Arabs who settled in the region in the 7th century CE and other local populations, have deep historical ties to the land. After the Jewish diaspora, the region saw a succession of different empires and people, including Byzantines, Arabs, Crusaders, Mamluks, Ottomans, and finally the British Mandate before the establishment of the State of Israel in 1848. Palestinians, as a modern national identity, developed in the context of Ottoman Empire and the British Mandate, but they incorporated a mix of Arab and Canaanite uh, local ancestries. So while the Jewish people have a documented ancient presence in the region that predates the modern concept of Palestinian national identity, the ancestors of modern Palestinians also have lived in the region for millennia, both before and after the Jewish presence. This overlapping and intertwined history contributes to the complex and deeply rooted claims that both peoples have to the land. However, some might think that indigeneity basically means whoever was there first gets to be the, pe the, the people who hold the land. This is not what indigeneity means. It does not simply mean that the first people to inhabit a land are its sole rightful landholders. Instead, indigeneity involves a combination of historical presence, cultural continuity, and self-identification. The concept is nuanced and considers various factors, including historical presence, but also including cultural continuity, whether or not indigenous groups typically maintain distinct cultural practices that are passed down through generations. Self-identification. Indigenous peoples often self-identify as such and are recognized by other groups, including governmental and, inter and international bodies, as having unique cultural and historical ties to their land. While indigeneity is an important factor in discussions about land rights, it's not the sole criterion for determining land ownership or sovereignty. Modern legal and political frameworks also consider historical treaties and agreements, whether or not um, uh, current legal systems uh, provide frameworks for recognizing and adjudicating land claims and contemporary social, economic, and political contexts. In the case of Israel and Palestine, both peoples have historical and religious ties to the land. They're extremely well documented, and they both go back to ancient kingdoms. For Jewish people, despite periods of diaspora, there is a kind of continuous presence of their peoples. For Palestinians, there is a continuous presence spanning centuries and really even back to the same time as the Jewish peoples. 
So overall, I think, in my opinion, that the case for Palestinians being indigenous to the land is fairly robust. There are ancient roots. Palestinians trace their ancestry back to the Canaanites, Philistines, and those in initial Semitic groups. And the archaeological evidence shows a continuous presence of these peoples. The Arab conquest in the 7th century CE was not insignificant. It saw an enormous influx of Arab populations, and these people are the ones who integrated with the existing inhabitants to form the ancestors of modern Palestinians. The Arabic language and Islam have been dominant cultural and religious forces in the region for over a millennium. These elements are integral to Palestinian identity and heritage. Palestinians have preserved various cultural practices, agricultural techniques, and social structures that are deeply connected to the land. This includes traditional crafts, cuisine, and folklore. Palestinians themselves identify as a distinct people with a deep connection to their specific place on earth. This self-identification is a crucial aspect of indigeneity. The case for Palestinians being indigenous to the land is grounded in their historical presence and the colonial context of displacement. Recognizing Palestinians as indigenous acknowledges their connection to the land and supports their rights to self-determination and cultural preservation. I do not know, however, if this perspective necessarily negates the historical and cultural claims of Jewish people. It does, however, emphasize the legitimacy of Palestinian ties to the region. Thank you.